Hello everybody and welcome back to the mod lock. We are jumping in once again for another run. Unfortunately, last episode we did die as our first character and it was the deleted, which we don't really have many marks for yet, which was really unfortunate. I did ask the developer. I died to an unintended bug. I was really confused as to what effect triggered all those enemies spawning and I went and spoke to the developer and apparently there's currently a bug where if you pick up an active item and then drop it again, you still keep the negative effect from that active. So one active that I picked up had 4% chance on first time taking a hit in a room to spawn 101 enemies. And I put the active down, but I still had that effect. I shouldn't have. It was a bug. But I'm going to class this character as dead regardless. I don't think it's in the spirit of the competition to revive a character just because a bug killed me. Anyways, we're going to jump in as Arachna and try and do Dark Path. So let's just get into it and see how we go. This is a fun character. One that shouldn't be too bad. Sorry about that. Yeah, one that shouldn't be too bad for us. We're just going to jump in. Um, and for the question of the day, pretty simple one. What is something that you really struggle with? What is something that you've always struggled with? For me, and this this one, it's kind of got a caveat to it, but I've always been really bad with, with like, sentence structure and grammar. Oh, dice bag is awesome. Not always super useful, but forever, if we ever want to, um, if we ever want to try and re-roll a run we have the opportunity to do so so it's really nice to have that available uh also we need to be using the spool a little more because i'm not really using it too much right now and it's a stupid idea to not use it because it's very very strong um anyways yeah what's something that you really struggle with for me it's like sentence structure and like grammar and stuff and like, like i was saying there is a little bit of a caveat to that in that i do technically have dyslexia um, or at least I think I do. I've never actually been diagnosed. I was tested once when I was at a younger age, and I, they said I showed traits of it, but they never officially stated that I had it. Um, but I I accidentally defaulted the run there. Okay, we're going to have to be careful of that, because that's going to be something that I can probably do quite often to myself if I'm not paying attention. Can this guy? Yeah, okay, this guy doesn't spool, unfortunately. Okay, I should be careful of that going forward. Just see if we pop out a dice first. Do these... I think these double flies technically have enough health, by the way. Yes, they do. Okay, let's let's just try. Ah, oh, I didn't quite get them all. That's fine, that's fine. Um, But yeah, uh, so I kind of have a caveat of that. But for some reason for me, I have this weird thing. Um, And I don't know if this is part of having dyslexia or not. I've not really sort of... I've spoken to people that have it before, but not really in depth about how it feels to have it sort of thing, or how you notice it, or how it kind of manifests in different people, because I know it's it's different for everyone, not not everyone sort of gets it in the same sense. Obviously, there's really common traits like that are shared among a lot of people, uh, but everyone kind of has specific parts of it for them, uh, themselves that affect them in different ways, and for me, mine is really like, one big one is kind of like my mind moving a bit too fast, and so... I kind of think as I'm typing, um, and I I type something, and I basically, I, I, I think that I've typed the right thing. I think that I've typed what I wanted to type, but in actual fact, I haven't. Um, and that that is something that screws me up a little bit. Um, I tend to, I tend to, a lot of the time, write do rather than don't, and stuff like that. I, I miss the NT off of a lot of things, and that screws up a lot of sentences, and... A lot of the context of a lot of sentences, as you, as you can imagine. So that one's always a really difficult form for me. And then, like, another thing that I do as well is when I'm reading, I tend to, like, go a little bit too fast. And so, ooh, hello. Um, Dr. Fetus is rather nice here. Obviously, a slightly risky item, um, or potentially slightly risky. By the way, what's... For completion marks, we're doing pretty well here. Uh, we have done Delirium. Wait, we we done Delirium and Mega Satan as this character, so we just need to do Dark Path this run, or go for, like, Mother. Um, Mother's maybe a good idea, because it's, it's worth more points, is sort of my uh, my thinking. And also, then we don't need to rush, because we've already done Boss Rush and Hush. We did a lot as this character. Um, so, yeah, maybe I'll do Mother this run. Um, I'm just trying to find a crawl space, just because we have the extra time. I'm willing to take a bit of time on this run, to be honest, because um, why not? That's our secret room. Oh, this is a really cool secret room. This is a really cool secret room. We can either take all the money if we want, or we can feed this guy up oh, as many coins as we can. I got hit by him then. Fantastic. Uh, wait. 
There's meant to be regeneratable bombs in here, and there wasn't for some reason. So I just fed him a bunch of bombs for no reason. Whoops. Okay, I don't know why that was li like that. It's meant to have regeneratable bombs in here. Anyways, maybe I changed up the room a little bit and I don't remember. I don't know. It's a cool room nonetheless, though. It's one of my secret rooms that is pretty damn rare, but I think it's pretty cool. Right. This is probably where our crawl space is, if any, if anywhere. Also, there might be a tinted rock hidden back here, to be honest. You never know. Rooms like this kind of spawn them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, when I read, I tend to like read the word I think is there rather than the word that's actually there. So I'll kind of read a bit too quickly and yeah, instantly read what, I, what my, my brain assumes is the word that's meant to be there. And obviously a lot of the time that's not correct. That ends up being wrong. So yeah, that, that happens a lot that I kind of read the wrong thing. Which is, you, you guys have probably noticed that quite a lot when I read the descriptions of things in games. Anyone that watched my Hollow Knight series back in the day, um, that's a, a ye olde series for the Turtle Melon channel. But anyone that, that watched that, um, do you know what? I'm going to actually take Monkey's Paw here. Because if we take a little look, um, when on half a heart spawns one black heart three times, I don't know, mm, I was going to take it, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. It, it's good, but it's like it's a saving grace, but it's quite hard to trigger. I don't know if I want to bother. A lot of spiders there. Sadly, we did not find the crawl space, which I really was expecting us to. We should still be able to find a second secret room, though. And that's still something we should hopefully be able to get somewhere around these parts. I'm not exactly sure where. There you go. Try and get a few more rocks done. I know we, there's, there's other rooms where we've left rocks, so... There's a potential chance we just missed it somewhere, but I'm doing all I can here. And then what shop item have we missed out on here? Because we're one penny off. We got the D1. <clears throat> we'll do that. Um, That's pretty good. We'll take that. It's it, like It can be a little iffy, but for the most part, it's pretty good. Anyways, <clears throat> let's keep moving forward. Dr. Feet is here off the bat is really good. Also, our character is looking swanky. I have to say, we're probably not going to really need to use our spool all too much. So, I might not end up using it all that much. I apologize to those of you that expect me to. <laughs> Main gimmick of this character. So, I might still go um, downpour. I just want to see what... I, I like. I, there's no point going to the um, to downpour one, really. Because it is a harder floor. And it's kind of, yeah, it just doesn't really make an awful lot of sense to go there. I'd like to get a bit more health first, really. Hey, we got um, this room here, which is essentially just a room that is there for if you get the chance to re-roll it. Um, obviously, at the minute, we don't have the chance to do that. Um, I'm confused. That, that, that red spider really confused me there. I was very, very perplexed about what was going on. Take. I don't know why I took the bomb there. It was way more worth it to take the penny. I do not like this room. There you go. Oh, God. That's, it's kind of stressful having this. D20. There's a credit card there. I definitely don't want to use the D20. Okay, let's try and use the spool a little more actively, shall we? Extra key there. Good, good. Let's grab that credit card. Do you reckon we do credit card devil deal? I think that's probably the way to go here, so let's try that now. Oh, that was... That was so perfectly executed there. He kind of used my bomb to redirect himself. Yeah, that was, that was pretty clutch, my dude. That was pretty clutch. We'll take that. We can't pick it. Okay, that'll just give us one of those hearts. Um, and yeah, I think both of those are pretty decent. So I'll take them both. I think concussion's pretty interesting. It's not always that good, but it can be. We got a horse pill there, which I realize could be dr just drastically terrible. It was a double gulp, so we now have the... Uh, Thingy bag gulped, which is kind of nice because you've got that. Oh, the push pin isn't all that good. Um, so I'm going to take this gulp and I'm not going to bother with the uh, the push pin, actually. Because just because piercing on bombs doesn't really do much for us. Having another gulp in pocket is quite nice. I'm surprised the um, 
We don't have a special effect on the double gulp pill, the horse pill. It should just, like, gulp a random trinket or something. Okay, good, good. Item room here. Hemolacria is an interesting one. I don't really care what charges you steal from me. I think we take Hemolacria. I can never remember if it's any good with this setup. I think it is. Is it dangerous? It's a bit dangerous. Um, I think it's good, though. It's kind of like having scatter shot early on. We do we, we do have an issue of obviously it being a little a little scary. <clears throat> a little scary right now. Right, where are we going? Okay, that was easy. That was easy. I like Hemolacria Dr. Fears. It's a fun combo that I I, I think I've only ever had once before. I don't like having dice bag locked in because I know I'm going to accidentally D4 myself at some point. Okay, that, the bomb damage, the damage we can output is pretty awesome. Good, we're getting all these wisps involved as well. Wisps, even locusts. Damn it, no crawl space. Getting kind of unlucky with that. I thought we'd have got one by now, but oh well. Just kind of doing all the runs regardless. All the rooms, sorry. D12, because why not? D12 can give you some good stuff. It didn't this time, but it can. Okay. Away we go. And away we go. Yeah, let's just... So the spiders are, are an added bonus, but let's not worry about them, because I'm going to end up accidentally... I'm going to end up accidentally re-rolling myself. I just know it. I can just feel it. Have we been down here? We have not. Everything's killing everything for us. It's kind of brilliant. Sack. Charge key. That's that's the best thing about um, bad options, whatever it's called. Missing options. I can't, I can't remember what it's called now. Um, just the fact that it can trigger uh, like a chest rather than a, a red heart sort of thing. And you can get more bang for your buck, essentially. I don't know where second secret room is here, really. I haven't really thought about that. I guess it could be here. I'm not going to worry about it. Anyways, down to the next floor. Uh, let's go this let's, let's, let's go this way, just in case. Eternal D6 here. Um, we definitely want keys more. And yeah, just make sure we don't accidentally re-roll ourselves. That's our, that's our main prerogative right now. I would like to use my webbing when I can, but it's not priority. Okay. <clears throat> we just gotta basically look before we come into a room, whether it's, I, I, like I accidentally used uh, this there. Didn't mean to use this. It's not a bad thing. It gave us a button, which could be good. It wasn't, but there you go. I've, my my mini map is all messed up as well. I'm like on the wrong version of my mini map, and it's showing my timer and stuff. It's not intentional, but hey ho. Um, school bag is kind of decent. We don't need it, but it might be good. More devil deal chance is very nice here. We'll get again. We'll take a key. Wow factor. I don't. I think Wow Factor does much for us. I'm going to take random, and we got Pentacle, which I absolutely love. There you go. Yeah, because the, 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 the spiders are still going to help us a lot on bosses and stuff, so they're still useful. And then we want to do our mirror room on this floor, which, honestly, that does scare me a bit. I think I could end up dying to my mirror room. I don't know, it's not that far away, so let's let's not worry about it too much. Just obviously having to deal with bombs while in the mirror dimension scares me quite a lot. Stay away for now. Room's cleared, good, good. Beautiful, beautiful room there. Like that, just then, I I threw that bomb in a really weird way. Was not good. Luckily, we can do really good damage. That's like the one caveat. 
The bombs are bad in certain ways, but in other ways they're very good. <clears throat> Increased knockback doesn't do much for us either. I'm not going to bother gulping that. And then I don't care about my extra item. It's too risky, I think. Let's just go back here. We'll try and find our secret when we come back through. Probably here, right? There you go. Check out these fellas. Really? Kind of hard to hit the bombs sometimes. Excuse me, because I want my gulp pill, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Back we go to the boss. The champion bosses on this floor could mess us up too. That's another thing we have to be slightly concerned with. Luckily, this is a boss that dies very quickly to bombs. We don't have to worry about him too much. The leech is, however, slightly problematic. Fire rate, of course, isn't stupendously good for us. It doesn't really matter too much. Have we visited our shop? We have. Okay. And away we go. So we're going to try this out. We're going to give this a go. <clears throat> I'm not sure how this is going to end up. We still don't have great HP, which makes obviously going to the mausoleum pretty risky. That's definitely something we have to be concerned about somewhat. That, <laughs> that made that room easier. Grab that. Leprosy's, of course, not very good. Flatstone? Does that do anything for us? It doesn't seem to. It maybe makes more bombs. I can't really tell. Doesn't seem to be doing much. The peeler, not very good either. <clears throat> Damn it, I tried to slow you down there. It didn't really work. Oops, secret room, thank you. Key, thank you. Golden. Okay, this is an active I want. Oh god, that was bullshit. It launched those spiders onto my head. But yeah, if you, if you take a look at this, turns um, everything into gold. Pickups, trinkets, chests, everything. So that's going to be really, really good. It does it, like does have a sort of hard requirement for, uh, for charging, if I remember correctly. It takes a while. I think it takes damage to charge. It takes a lot of it, too. Where we go. <clears throat> what what even hit me then? <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. Probably one of my bombs, if I was to guess. I didn't see it. I did not see it. Alright, keep going. This is a weird one. I'm really worried about my health. One good thing is we can just decide to bail at any point. Right, down here, see if there's anything good. Probably not, though. I mean, that's decent. <clears throat> good old bit of Hot Wheels. Hot wheeling. Oh, we got two of them for some reason. There's two Hot Wheel cars. There most certainly shouldn't be two. I don't know why there's two. I was about to say, save myself a bomb there. Really didn't, did I? Yeah, we've not got a chance to use our golden thing yet, but it is pretty good when you get the chance. Oh, yeah, I really don't know why we've got two carts going there. Uh, there should only be one. Really hoping for a soul heart here. I'm seeing that my bombs are exploding via hitting my carts. Oh, no, no. Is that the case? I, don't, I can't tell. Okay. Sadly, nothing there. Looks like we're on our way to our boss. I don't think we have a good bead on second secret room here. It's... It has to be up this way, I think. I don't know. Where is it? I don't know where it could be, I'll be honest. Oh, wait. I know where it could be. I know where it could be. We're not in a rush here, so let's take our time. It has to be at the end of this room, doesn't it? There you go. This is, like, potential for so much HP. 
I knew it was going to kill him. I was, I, was tre I was intending to play him. I knew it was going to kill him. I, I don't know why I went for it. I could have just waited. Right, it's fine. Let's keep going. <clears throat> Still don't know where I sit on how worried I am right now. <laughs> feel like I'm very worried. Damn it. I was really hoping we got the, uh, the tough twins or whatever. A lot of explosives going off around me. Oh, God. I was not expecting a Hemoacria shot there. From the boss. I'm the one with Hemolacria here. Okay, he's doing that. It's actually really hard to not hit myself with this setup, I'll be honest. What? I I'm getting hit by stuff and I just have absolutely- I can't fathom what's hitting me. Web heart. Okay, we got a lot of HP here. That was very, very useful. And we get stairway, which is going to be pretty awesome. We don't need to do Mega Satan, so we don't need to worry about that. Okay, things are on the up and up here. Things are on the up and up. Um, Just go down to the next floor. I don't know if we're going to end up doing Mother here, because it's just, it's not looking super plausible with our current HP. I don't even know what Tricyc would do. I'm going to take it. So it seems wacky. That seems awful. <laughs> that seems like it's going to be a problem. <laughs> Oh, that seems like it's going to be tragic. So let's use this in this room and see what sort of stuff we get going on. We need bomb immunity is what we need. That's what I'm figuring out pretty quickly here. <laughs> this is interesting. Oh, it sure is. I like it, it's cool, but it feels very deadly. It feels like it will almost definitely be the thing that kills me. Whoa, what, what was this? Create some Mama Mega Explosion in the current room. Grab the soul heart there. Yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be so crazy. I mean, it's, it's kind of good because the bombs seem a little bit more controlled. I say that and immediately hit myself. Oh my god. We just got Sigil of Baphomet and we can gulp it. That's fantastic. A Sigil? I'm not saying it's a run saver, but that is very good. Getting invincibility for getting kills is pretty awesome. This is such a crazy combo, though. This is so wild. The fact as well that we can shoot over rocks is very helpful. Didn't mean to take that bomb, then. I don't know if this will work, but I feel like I should take it just in case. And kid I'm so glad I didn't take Kidney Stone. Holy, that would have been terrible. But basically, my hope now... Oh, Steam Cells is insane here. My hope now is that... Yeah, my bombs aren't going to block uh, shots, but the Tri-Sag shot will. And that seems valuable to me. Chariot here. Okay, let's do the boss now. It is the boss I want is.
There's a lot of living bombs going around right now. They're good. Why did that take so many hearts from me then? It took an extra heart. Maybe the webbed heart didn't count? Anyways, let's go get a piece. Go get our knife piece. We can finally do this section without it lagging. Oh, wait, we haven't actually unlocked it yet. Oh. That's why. I just didn't press one of the buttons. Okay, hopefully we don't take any damage during this. We start with, like, above average speed, which is normally, and there's no modded rooms in here either, which is normally a very telling t sign that, yeah, I'm going to be fine. But I'm not going to guarantee that that's going to be the case. Like, it's been a long time since I did the Mother Chase. I don't, not, I don't often do it. So, it's, yeah. We'll see, we'll see. Still, though, this run's, uh, like, even if I die in this run, this run's been a barrel of laughs. <laughs> I'm really enjoying myself. Right, let's just focus up for a minute. See what we need to do. There we go. Wait for you to come back around this way and charge over there. Okay, you're going to need to charge over this way now. Should be enough time to get me through there. Good, good. Oh my god, that was a really annoying charge that you just did there. Oh, I just snuck past those spikes then. Only just. Okay, you're going to have to do another dive out of this way first for me to get past that. Okay, that's gone reasonably smoothly so far. Kite you again. Oh, that's annoying, but it's okay. It's only one path. Okay, not too bad at all. We kept all of our HP, and this is looking like a solid mother run. We still have a little ways to go, but do remember that we've got half price. We've got Steam Sale Stairway, which I feel like is going to do us pretty solid. This way. Yeah, Steam Sale Stairway, I don't know. That speaks to me as, like, a peak combo that could really ride us, like, take us quite far. And also another thing you need to remember is if if the if things do get like like really crazy for some reason somehow, we can also just re-roll our run. We have the ability to do that. We also just we just got the soul, so I'm pr I'm pretty happy with the soul here. Travel on, sweet Trisagion. Okay, we do have our um, turn everything gold thing on again. God damn. The invincibility on hitting enemies is awesome. I love the fact that it's one of these, but we just boom the hell out of the whole thing. Hoping for an item here. Didn't get it, but still happy with everything we got regardless. So yeah, basically we're looking for a room with just a ton of rocks in it to turn gold, really. Ace of Diamonds. I was just about to say, what the hell's going on in this room? I was like, what does it, re what does it require me to do here? Right, if we could get bomb immunity, then I'd be super happy here. Box of spiders isn't going to do it. Milk. I say I'm not afraid of any um, mystery items, but honestly, I could get so screwed by mystery items right now. Also, EID doesn't seem to be working right now, which is a little frustrating. I hit myself there. That's really nice. I'm just going to grab that because it's cheap. Right. How are we looking? Pretty good. This seems to be the right way as well. Yep, it is. Do not like this room. Okay. Boss time. It is Champion Siren. Which honestly should go down pretty fast. But that's not to say I won't get hit a bunch. 
Okay, I just keep hitting myself with my own bombs at this at this point. There was some other hearts back this way that I think I should go grab. I can't remember where they were now. Was it on this floor? It might not be on this floor. There were some web hearts on the floor, wasn't there? Eh, maybe not. This little stone doesn't seem super good for us. Right, let's just get going. We'll, we'll, our health is fine. Fine enough, at least. Um... Let's use this on this room, because I was going to say it should turn all these poops golden. I just want to have enough money to buy everything that shows up in the uh, thingy room. Stairway room. At any point. Right, there we go. Yeah, this, this, this run has really taken a few twists and turns here. Rosary doesn't really do it for us. But I will take it, because why not? It doesn't actually give us a tears up, unfortunately. This seems really stupid, but I'm going to take damage on purpose. I didn't actually mean to kill this guy. I don't know why I did this. I was just trying to get a soul heart. Right. I'm going to take damage on purpose and get a soul heart, because it's worth more than a web heart. Okay. Right. Just gotta beeline it to the boss. That was really dumb. Are you serious? Can you destroy that single poop. Okay. We should get health back pretty pretty quick. Gotta keep an eye on these bombs. Ooh, I'll definitely take that. That's super good. Uh, I might as well pick this up for the chance at bookworm. <laughs> Might as well. Ooh, thank you. My seven seals got you there. Sometimes it spawns way more bombs than others. I'm not really sure what causes it to do that on sometimes, but not others. God damn, I love Sigil of Baphomet. It's so good. Holy... Extra secret rooms, I'm okay, thanks. It's a good trinket, but I think the one that we've got right now is pretty good. <sighs> Definitely not that. That would be insane. Sometimes the actual um, Trisagian shot does enough damage to kill everything, which is quite nice. Mm, I'm going to have to say no to Monstro's Lung. <laughs> Lodestone. I think Lodestone could be pretty, in, pretty. It, it could be bad, or it could be pretty incredible. I'm thinking... Basically, what I'm thinking right now is that if it hits... Trisag's good at proccing things, so it should proc fairly often. And if it hits, it should suck all the bombs towards whatever's been Lodestoned, right? In theory? Is that correct? It sounds... Sounds plausible. And that could be a good solution. Somewhat. It's not a super elegant solution, but I think it will work. Oh god. Not a big fan of this room. Okay. Is that everything? Mm, yes. 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 I think. Yes. Seven? Hmm. Yeah, I think that's worth taking, right? I think that that works the same way. It, it, it doesn't matter, I don't think, at the end of the day. Okay, nice. Also, one second. What's going on with this door? Because this door doesn't lead anywhere. It's an error room. No. Well... Guess we're not doing mother. <laughs> what? 
That wasn't fair. Hmm. <laughs> How does this work? I feel like that'll kill me, right? I'm not gonna take it. I feel like it might kill me. Yeah, so... Obviously, I was intending... I was intending... Oh, wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I don't have the Polaroid, or the negative. Well, I need a ruling here. I need a ruling. Okay, boys, I'm gonna make a judgment call, and I'm just gonna go back to Mars 2. Uh, it's like, seven? No, six? We're on Gehenna, right? Yeah, so, right, I'm here now. I need to go and remove C390, remove infamy, C242, and remove, okay, that's, I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah, and I, obviously I technically have some extra HP and stuff, so, I'm just gonna auto-nerf myself a little. I, I realize I have some extra money that I shouldn't have too. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly beeline it to the boss and auto-nerf myself when I get there. Because it's the same floor again, as you can see. Right, so don't take anything from now. Okay, may maybe it's not the same floor? I don't know. Right, anyways. Keep going. Keep going. I've got I've got kind of an idea of something to do to get rid of some of my, my money and stuff. But yeah, that's just broken as fuck, and it means I can't get any completion marks. So I made a judgment call. Don't want to go in here. It, maybe it's the same floor. This is like this, some of the same rooms here. I don't know where I have and haven't been though. This is definitely the same floor. One minute. Right, keep it going. Brimstone. Oh, thought it was going to hit me. We got away from it. We got a secret room there. Can't use it. Yeah, this is the same room as well. Right. So one of the things I'm going to do is just get rid of a bunch of money is just donate a bunch of it, and then bomb. <coughs> Sorry, I had a random coughing fit then. Right, I'm just going to donate a bunch of it, and then bomb. I don't know how much I got, but I'm going to go down to like, there you go. Oh. It won't bomb. Well. Oh well, it's in there now. I'm just not going to use it. That money is in the bank, we're not going to use it. I'm also going to... Just waste a bunch of bombs that I shouldn't have. Not that I need them anyways. Because I don't know how to remove them with console commands. There you go. That door is still there, by the way. One second. I'm going to send a picture to everyone. Okay, sorry for all stopping and starting, people. Just fixing weird quirks. And then, yeah. Just a quick little self-nerf. Just because I feel like I gained some HP I shouldn't have, maybe. There you go. And then we're back on track pretty much, right? We're back on track. Gotta do mother. That, that is why I took Lodestone right there. We got that. We can take the negative now. Eucharist, not very helpful, but there you go. Um, let me take what my items are. Duh, 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 duh. I don't think it can be any modded items that I have. Although I still have a Seraphim from my Wisps that I'm not meant to have. I'm, so I'm sorry about that. Right. <clears throat> we head on through. The heart is awaiting for us. We just hope for Lodestone. 
I mean, we do good damage regardless of Lodestone or not, but I'd like to get it. Okay, maybe you did get affected by Lodestone, because it didn't seem to hit you then. Okay. <clears throat> did pretty well on you. Grab a webbed heart. And we go on down to Mother. I'm just quickly chatting to Neonermi to try and figure out what the hell happened. We have no idea. We have absolutely no idea. Oh! I don't know if that does anything for us. Maybe, I don't know, it gives us homing bombs, right? I've re-rolled it with an eternal D6. I mean, I might as well pick up all this money. Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know if you could <coughs> class this as cheating or not, but... I feel like I got completely screwed, and the fact that I didn't have a Polaroid or negative, I let the guys know, and they, they also confirmed it is clearly a bug. Honestly, with the mod lock, we've been having some issues anyways, like, um, what's his name, uh, BD1P has lost like two characters now to, the, to greed mode being bugged, so, whoops, that's my bad because I suggested the greed mode mods, but there you go. Sadly, that might happen from time to time. Oh, this having Herming is so, so nice. So, so nice. My goodness. Right, we keep going. If they, if they do, by the way, if I finish this run <clears throat> and I get my mother mark and the, 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 the rest of the people on the Discord say that what I did was technically cheating, I'll just not count the mark, but I'll stay- I'm, I'm- I'm saying the character's still alive, but I'm not gonna count the mark, just because I think that that's fair, the character- we, we clearly would have survived this run, but if they think the mark wasn't fair, then that's fair- that's fair by them, but I think solving a bug with debug, which is what a few people have already been doing, is fine. Ow. Yeah, I don't know if Hollow Ground's gonna end up being any good, but we have it. We have it at least to see. Oh, by the way, when I got two of the Hot Wheels cards, it's because I had Pentacle. Pentacle gives you a Lemmageddon Wisp of an item when you pick it up sometimes. That's why I've got two hollowed poops right now. That's what happened. I'm dumb. I forgot about that. Honestly, Godhead, great pickup for the boss. The mother, great pickup. Hopefully we can kill all these before the flies hatch. There you go. And then Chimera. Yeah, so we don't even need, really need Lodestone now that we've got Herming. But it definitely helps. Shot speed is... I don't know, is that a good thing with this setup? I guess I'll take it regardless. And we got Vade. No thank you. Yeah, Vade's not very good. I was, was going to say maybe, but actually I don't think it's any use. Pascal? Why not? Oh, for God's sake. Hot Wheels cart. Why screw me like this? Right. That's our last... That's our last angel deal. It's on to the boss now, which I think we, we, we've definitely got. And we will just see. How it goes. I'm sure we, we, we're going to get a win here. I, I realise we just didn't use Arachna's special ability like at all. This has been a super fun run though. What a what a weird and interesting combo we got. Honestly, Sigil of Baphomet has been saving my gosh darn life so much. By the way, what is it that keeps destroying all of those? <coughs> we seem to have an item that just insta destroys all of those blocks. <coughs> I don't know what it is. Very strange. Oh, is it um, is it our trinket? Does our trinket do that? I think it does, you know. That's pretty cool. I never knew it did that. Oh god, my voice is going. You can tell. I've been recording too much. <clears throat> oh lord. Oh, you're gonna be an asshole, aren't you? Okay. Right. Boss time. Let's do it. Make you gold, why not? It's funny. All 
Right, we're not going get, to be getting much invincibility this time around, so don't be relying on that anymore. We might be relying on Lodestone, really. we got two of these poops here, which I'm trying not to blow up. Damn it, you destroyed my poops. I've been hit a lot, damn. I was really trying to use those poops to uh, give me a bit of extra damage, but I ended up just hurting myself a bunch. Oh, damn. I need to be careful. I'm getting hit a lot. I mean, I'm fine, but that was still scary. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. That's the mother uh, mark done. If that counts, we'll see. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.